Hey, I am the Dad, and today I will show you how to install Homebrews to the VHBL for the firmware 2.12. At first, you can either grab Homebrews that are prepackaged for the VHBL, like Homebrews from Zload.net. Some Homebrews are for the PS Vita, so you can just grab them and install them. Just check if the um, Homebrew is for a specific um, half byte loader and if it can be that it might not work for your half byte loader. Okay, but let's take a next step. Like we have two Homebrews, Emulator Master and GPSP, and we want to install them. Just move these into a folder, check if everything is available like a BIOS file is necessary for a GBA emulator, a ROM is also necessary so you have something to play and especially for this emulator you have to edit the direction file since you don't put the since you don't put the homebrews in the game folder it's more recommended to put it into the VHBL folder so you PSV deck won't refuse to save like save games or stuff. So change the path. I'm using Notepad plus plus for this and if the path is correct, M is zero slash PSP slash VHBL and the other stuff, then we can proceed. Okay, this emulator looks good. Then right click it and make an archive out of it. Use the zip format and for compression this will be called store in English so it's not compressed and in pretty important is call it install.zip in caps lock even the dot zip has to be in caps lock then click OK and you got this file then crop it put it in any safe game like, for example, the save game of Final Fantasy. Put the install.zip file in here and you're done. Then we will check the emulator master. File is available. Some ROMs. Okay. Right click, archive, zip, store, and again, install.zip. Then you will copy it into another save game. It's important since you can't put two installed zips in one save game. You could put it in the exploit save game, but it's not recommended to put anything in here which shouldn't be in here. So I will just use the save game of Diablo. Um, you might have seen that I'm using PS1 save games. I'm doing this because um, in the content manager assistant you can browse for PSP or PS1 save games, so it's easier to find these. The next step will be on the PS Vita, how to transfer it. Okay, my PS Vita is at the firmware 2.12, which is the most recent firmware yet. There we go, 2.12. Then we go into the Content Manager app which should be connected to a computer or PlayStation 3 but computer is recommended PC applications then you have to choose one of these options depends on if it's a PS1 or a PSP save game mine or a PS1 save game so we'll select this and if you see the Final Fantasy save game is 19 MB it's counting the installed zip file then I will copy yes Then it will copy the two safe games, including the install.zip file we just put in there. And next we will go to our half pad loader and install the homebrews. Now we have to launch the VHBL. We just start the game, load the safe data and go to a high score. Since we have this new awesome menu, it's pretty easy 
to install the files. At first we will check the settings, language English, okay. Installer load mode accurate. This is a pretty important thing. If you use the accurate mode, it will tell you which homebrew or homebrews are in which save game. And if you change it to fast, okay, I have to restart the menu to refresh it. I will show you that the next time. Um, you just go to install, press on one of the homebrews, and then confirm. It then will move all the files and install the homebrews. The eboot eboot.pvp file will be renamed into wmenu.bin, but you can change this in the settings since it can't be named eboot.pvp due to restrictions in the PSP emulator. When it's done, okay, last last run. Other stuff. Okay, when it's done, you can find the game, other game, and can play it. At first, I will install the other emulator, the Game Mode Wands emulator. This might take a bit longer because the Game Mode Wands ROMs are much bigger and it takes a bit time to install these so if you have a lot of ROMs it will take a bit time to install these but everything will be done automatically so you just have to sit back and wait you see Pokemon well it's called Smaragd which is the German version of Pokemon Emerald um, it's 16 MB and it takes a bit time to move it but when it's done, it's done. Okay, it's done. Then we can change to the game tab. And for example, I will launch this Game Mode 1 emulator. Since we changed um, the direction in the dir.cfg file with Notepad++, it will automatically search at the PSP, slash VHB, slash GPSP, slash GBA, slash ROM path. So you just have to select the ROM you want to boot, and you can load it. The game's working. If you press triangle, you can change stuff like putting it, putting it in, into full screen, or you can exit the emulator and other stuff. Let's just exit. If we exit the emulator, we will go back to the menu. Well, it should go back to the menu. The, um, the VHBL is not perfect, but it's pretty easy to install games. Okay, I think my piece video crashed. Um, this is how you can install homebrews, um, it usually should go back to the menu, I might have picked the wrong version of the GBA emulator, the HBL can play it but can't properly exit it. Um, well, yeah. Um, you just have to find a working version of the homebrews, then you have to install it like I showed you, and then you can play the games. It seems the GBA emulator is a bit tricky, but otherwise 
everything should run fine, like the Super Nintendo emulator or the Game Boy Color emulator. I'm that, and see you soon.